Hello, welcome. All right, um, we are here uh, on site. I left a little message uh, this morning that we were gonna go to uh, a house and um, help with the application of the grounding uh, tape. The T9J shielding paint has already been put into place, first coat, now it's time for uh, grounding tape and so on. Now this is, um, yeah, just an interesting way to see another bedroom. These ones are a little bit larger and uh, we're sort of midway in a renovation, so we have a little bit of a different option to apply them. So uh, let's go and have a look. Okay, can I turn this camera around? Yes, I can. Okay, so we have a, uh, we'll uh, look at these things in turn. We have a large bedroom here where the uh, T98 shielding paint has been uh, put into place and so our uh, interest today is the grounding tape. Now the uh, advantage we have here is that the uh, skirting board, skirting boards are not yet into place and uh, also the edging around the doors is also not there yet. I see some people have uh, joined us live. I can see if you write comments if you've got a, a question we can possibly go into that right so rather large room then we've got this outcove here i think there'll be a, a decorative uh, wall heating unit or something else in there and then we have the walk-in robe with two entrances right so the bed head is going to be on the other side of this uh, this wall And then it's the bathroom. So yeah, so perhaps a little bit uh, more complex when it comes to grounding tape. Uh, it's not really, but it looks, uh, it might look complex. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's have a look. All right, so our client has already uh, started putting some, uh, some tape in place. So it started here, went all the way around. Now, it's important that the grounding tape is encapsulated by the shielding paint. So it cannot be stuck on the unpainted area. Now, it would have been nice if the paint had all gone all the way down to the floor. Given that this is ground floor, it's not actually that dramatic uh, because very little radio frequency radiation is expected to enter underneath and then curve back up. Um, so, uh, down here it can be forgiven. Uh, upstairs it must go to the floor. Anyway, so when it comes to our grounding tape, we definitely want to stick that onto the black, onto the T98 shielding paint, so that when we overpaint it, that it's encapsulated between the layers of shielding paint. Um, normally for radio frequency radiation, we do at least two coats. And now with 5G, um, you know, three coats is becoming more, um, more common. All right, so the tape follows the, uh, the wall, just goes around the corner. Doesn't matter that it goes up and down a little bit because the skirting boards have not been put on yet, which is convenient. These are the skirting boards. That'll go in later, so of course we're gonna have plenty of space to put the tape somewhere. So that's nice and convenient. All right, then it just curves around the room. And so here we've made a, uh, a tape going up into the cavity of the PowerPoint. This could have just continued instead of making a join here, uh, but it doesn't matter, this coding board's gonna cover all that. Uh, this tape, you normally put it a little bit off center, like it's done here, a little bit more to the side. And then I would put good 30 centimeters or a foot, a little bit longer than this, with the backing left on into the cavity of the PowerPoint and the electrician can connect to that at a later time. All right, so tape continues around the room. Now here we're still gonna have that edging on the, um, around the door. So we could also hide the tape there. So we just can continue around the room no need to keep grounding it, just in one place will do. And 
And then here's where we uh, stop with the application, but that'll just continue, 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 and then stop in that corner over there. Okay, now with relation to this, uh, this door opening, here we still also will have that edging going around the room. So we're actually going to continue that around the door like with the other doors and just take it on to the other side. If that wasn't the case, or if the edging of the door was already there and we couldn't really hide it, then it might be worthwhile to just start another tape here and continue it from there on, like we did on the opposite side. But then we would need to connect that to ground and another outlet, another power point. So I think that's for the uh, ducted vacuum, uh, uh, built-in vacuum cleaner system. All right, so the table will continue, come there, and then um, you know, that's all also still connected to that same connection to ground all the way back there. Now the only thing we haven't grounded in terms of walls is this, these walls here that the bed is going to be backing onto. Uh, so here we will have to run tape again from here along the wall, around, hope my signal keeps uh, keeps working and we can just go around that space and then also these wall panels are connected to ground okay so then the next thing is the ceiling uh, I see some messages coming in thank you um, don't know if I can click on anything here no. So I'm just trying to see if I can see what you wrote. Now I can only see it for a short second and then it's gone. Um, all right, so the only thing that's not included in our tape is the, uh, the ceiling panel. Okay, so I've got the T98 paint on there. These openings around the fittings, they could be made a little bit smaller. We'll rectify that with the second coat, bring that paint a little bit closer. Same thing with these as well. All right, but we do need to get, we need to ground that ceiling panel. So we don't need to, well, we need to get the tape onto the ceiling panel, but we don't need to go around the whole ceiling panel. We're not going around these wall panels either, right? We just have one piece of stretch, one stretch of grounding tape in that wall panel. So somewhere we need to get up and then we need to have a decent piece of grounding tape in the ceiling panel. So for conductivity sake, that would be the longest stretch. So that would be good. But um, the tape sits in the paint and you would see it if you'd look for it. And so what I'm suggesting to do here is that we'll use that piece of ceiling there. That's still a decent length of tape. And being further away from the bed, there will be less likelihood that that might be noticed. As, I mean, guests wouldn't notice it. It's more the people that live there, they know the tape is there, they might see it. So what I'm suggesting here to try and keep things out of sight again, if we make a T-junction over there and bring it up, then that's the wall that you that's behind you as you enter, so you don't notice it so uh, so easily. And so we're going to put that tape here and just bring that up, up to the ceiling panel and then bring it over and run it along this ceiling. Piece of ceiling there, all the way to the other side. And then we terminate it in that corner. And then we have a piece, a decent piece of grounding tape in our ceiling panel. Cool, and that, uh, then all this, uh, this room is done. I will uh, give you a quick look in the rest of the house. Always great to see people's projects come to life. Um, a while back when I was here, uh, none of the uh, plasterboard jib work was, uh, was up. Stunning place here in Melbourne, in Australia. Lots of glass. Um, this is all gonna be kitchen. 
Uh, there'll be an island here. I think that's the uh, laundry room. Beautiful. What I uh, especially appreciated was just outside here. There's actually a roof over this outdoor entertainment area, but they actually put skylights in this area. So, I mean, at the moment, the sun's shining right into it, but at other times of the day, this could be a dark space without those skylights. And I think they uh, really did a good job designing this, keeping this nice and bright for during the day. And yeah, of course, all, another entertainment area that brings us closer to the pool. It's all going to be retiled. I think the pool was already here, and so everything's just been renovated, extended on. Very exciting. Give you a quick look upstairs. Our clients have uh, been gracious enough to allow me to share this with you. Uh, also, which uh, you know, shows you that this stuff is not that difficult, not that complex. So here's another bedroom. Great, and so this uh, is at the ceiling done just yesterday, I believe. And there were a couple of bits that were missed, like the bits down the bottom. They've been corrected, they've been brought in nicely all the way down. This was the room with the highest radio frequency radiation levels, which makes sense because it's higher up. And I think the phone towers are in that direction. Cool, so anyway, we'll, uh, we'll look at grounding this space later. So quite a few people have joined us, that's great. And here's another bedroom that's also shielded. Cool, we've got an access door to the ceiling, uh, to the roof area here. And uh, nice enough, this is metal. So that uh, doesn't really put a big hole in our shielding. It sort of plugs itself because metal should be shielding. Cool. All right, well, that's it uh, for me for now. Thank you for uh, joining us and um, we'll, uh, um, yeah, we'll show you more uh, probably in posted videos uh, when we've got the grounding and everything in place. All right. Take care. See you later.